The Jumbo Bears took a hell of a beating this weekend, but we don't shy away. We're not going to go into actual hibernation like bears. We're going to come out and get stuck straight into it. Like We're going to come out fighting like bears. Aye, like a big pot of honey. We're going to get Let's get the closet. Let's get the closet. Before... Welcome back, guys. Fog Football, SPFL, Review Show, Depressing Review Show. But we're here to talk about it. Bigger news first, though. Stranraer manager. He stepped down after this defeat. Scott Agnew, yes. Yeah, so let's just jump straight into League Two there. Stranraer lost 2 0 to Bonnie Rig Rose, and Scott Agnew stepped down after the game. He is no well the following day. He's no longer the Stranraer manager. So, yeah. Uh, best of luck in your future endeavours, I guess. I thought you were going to say he's no longer with us, but he's no longer with Stranraer. They got beat 2 0. We move on, 607, there'll be one lighter next week, won't they? Because he, well, I guess they've still got a manager, but yeah, that's plenty, right? East Fife beat Clyde 5-1, that's poor. That's not great, East Fife though, good win for them. Gary Hanfidge is the ref. Uh, I mean, I predicted 4-0 Peterhead on the fucking, he, on the money. He did all right, he did all right, Peterhead uh, making easy work of Edinburgh City. Absolutely. Then we have a 1-1 draw, which I predicted as well. I can't remember what I predicted in that final game. I think we should maybe write these down. Do you agree with that? I but agree. I was writing down 42 different, well, not different scores, but it's a lot of scores. The thing is, though, so do you really care if you get a League 2 prediction right or wrong? Probably not, but here is the League 2 table. If you don't care, leave it the eye. So here we go. If you don't care, look away for the following 10 seconds. Yeah, so Peterhead lead the way. East Fife in second. Sterling... Uh, doing the bottom with four far Stranraer as well, only two points. Uh, that's not good enough. They're, they're expected to be up there competing for the title, so really poor. Edinburgh City, heavy defeat this week, but still see themselves in an okay position. Yeah, yeah, can't ask for much more considering what we all thought it would be. League One results are both nil nil with our Athletic decent attendance. Cove Rangers beat the mighty Montrose one nil. Craig Brown missed a penalty. What's mighty about them? The mighty who? What's mighty about them? What the who did I say is mighty? The mighty Montrose. I was there, mate. I was. They, they were graced for my presence. No, is that not good enough? Did they offer you nice hospitality? It was alright, like, I mean, like 12 or in. You know, the the barcode system at the gates to Lynx Park was some guy. With, like, a, a, <laughs> a, like a scanner you'd, you'd scan your food with from fucking Asda. Uh, it's not me. quite the electronic stuff you see at the, the, big, the big games, is it? Just some guy with a fucking food scanner. Anyway, uh, Dumbarton 2, Kelly Hearts 2, brilliant. Inverness beat Queen of the South 1 0, exactly what I predicted, by the way. And Stenhouse Moore 1 5 1, didn't predict that. But the league table is as follows Inverness. They're moving on up. Oh, they're heading in the right direction, the only way is up and when you're nailed to the bottom of the table. So, yeah, good win for them. Our broth, though, cut, cut adrift. Well, I say cut adrift, like they're one point off Cove Rangers. But they're still... one way to win for seven for me. Uh, it's, it's a very tight league. It is. I know. think the fact that everyone's played five games and the most a team has is nine points, that kind of shows you that this is going to be tight. It's going to be tight. The championship. Though, this, could, this could be the new championship. It could be, but as we look at the results, oh, didn't predict that. No, didn't predict that. Dunfermline getting a really good draw, in my opinion, against Air United. Scott Brown's team stopped on their tracks. Yeah, expect them to win. I think not saying here they can't win the league now, but you feel like this kind of assault could be the confidence denter that derails the Scott. Oh, Hold on, it's one game like I against the shittest team in the league. Well, yo, if Brendan Rodgers dropped points against Hearts when the football returns in two weeks, I guess Hearts would fucking collapse as well, no? Great <laughs> Rangers dropped points against Hearts. What's your point? I was shite. I know Hearts did collapse. Right, Greenick Morton two, Falkirk three. Good result for Falkirk, continuing to put the pressure on. And I believe that result puts them in pole position to go top of the table. It does. I think they're the only team left with 100% record. Uh, two each, Airdrie, they needed a result, and two late goals secured that. Ollie Shaw playing for Hamilton. Partick Thistle 3-0. Big win for Partick Thistle. We got that on the money, and then that's a big win for Levy. Big Jamie Brandon. Yeah, Jamie Brandon, they former Hearts man, got the goal in the 90th minute. Not looking good for Rafe Rovers. I wonder if they really regret now sacking Ian Murray. Yeah, we went against the run of play, didn't it? I don't understand why they sacked him, man. Ridiculous. And it's, that was a while. I mean, they sacked, that was on the match day one. And yeah. they've still not replaced them. 3rd of August. Uh, and here is the championship table. So Air United actually still sit top for Falkirk. So your hype about Falkirk going top is 
Oh, I don't know how to focus on a game. I never said that. I said they're in pole position. I, I said they're in pole position because they've got a hundred percent record. Hold on, right? What? That's like saying that that uh, that's like saying because Max Verstappen's five points clear of Lewis Hamilton. He's technically on pole position because he can. He, he's actually got an advantage over Listen, him. Listen, Dixie, if Celtic have played 38 games <laughs> and Rangers have played 37, they're only a point behind in Rangers' last games against Hearts. Are Rangers not in pole position? I would pay big money for that to be the situation on the last game exactly. of the season. So there you go. Uh, Dunfermline pick up the first point. Not much to say. Anyway, time for me to twist the knife. How about that? Ah. Uh... <laughs> right, Hearts nil, Dundee United one, Ross Graham. Great goal, by the way. 76th minute. Is that is that the goal? Is Ross Graham the man that sacks Stephen Naismith? He, he very well could be. I think Naismith needed to at least not lose today. I, not that a draw was good enough, but... Yeah, no, for me, I think he's done. I think he's done. A really poor performance. Dundee United, though, fair play to them. What a season they're having. I kind of wrote Jim Goodwin off at the beginning of it, and he's proven me wrong. You know, he's 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 got great results at Dundee United. I don't think they've lost yet either. I think well, they're still unbeaten. Third on the table. Uh, above Rangers as well. Just want to point that out there. So, yeah, uh, Dundee United doing really well. Doing better than Rangers. Uh, more points than Rangers. <laughs> Play uh, Rangers next. Yeah, unbeaten, unlike Rangers. So, uh, yeah, Dundee United, they are doing well. You know, they're, they're closer to Celtic than I'll Rangers. I'll let you know Rangers are Ferry beaten. They're Ferry John beaten. So... So uh, Dundee, Dundee United are having a good season. Um, don't know if they've more money than Rangers, but uh, yeah. we'll never know. Yeah, so fair play, Dundee United. Good win for them. Right, one one. Bruce Anderson. I think he saved Derek McKenzie. Well, I mean, I don't think he saved them, but could you imagine the the pressure would be mounting up? It's all right being at the bottom once if you're still in Europe. See, once you fall out of Europe, and you, then you're still at the bottom, and then you have to wait two weeks to pick up a point. Then the fans will get, you know, they'll get behind you. Well, They'll get behind you to push you at the door. But no, that, that's a big, big point. I, I think Kilmarnock would have been looking for a win, though. Would Naismith still have been favourite to get sacked if Kelly get beat? Fuck aye. Well, there we go. Talking of favourites to get sacked. Uh, right, it's your time to have some fun. So, take it away, Jambo Bear. Aye, so Dyson Myra, Kyogo, McGregor, three players that would just walk into the Rangers team, let's be honest. I mean, crawl into the Rangers team. The four, the four the teams team. that we mentioned. That, I mean, the the, four, the three different leagues. Most players would walk into that Rangers team. Uh, three now. I mean, probably could have been more. Celtic also debuted at some of their new big guns. Arnie Engels came on, so it was. Uh, you know, if you're a Celtic fan, I guess it was nice to see him. Your big eleven million pound man, but it was just too easy, and we're used to seeing this. I mean, it's the same thing we see all the time. I mean, it was Dyson Maida. Ripping the piss out of Tavernier. Can I, hey, it was, it was Kyogo Furuhashi scoring goals. And, and it was Cal McGregor just waltzing through the midfield like there was nobody else with him. Let's just you know, end it with this, right? See these people that have a go at Rangers fans, including myself, that say Rangers won't win the league this year. See, to win the league, you need to win old firms. And Rangers haven't won a competitive old firm in the league since September 2021. Case fucking closed. Let's move on. I would argue Rangers could win all four old firms and they still wouldn't win the league. Well, no, that's a valid point, right? You know, see, last season, Rangers did really poor in the old firms, and you know what? If they didn't collapse yeah, last against season, Dundee, it was a, you know, last year was weird. Last season, the old firms cost Rangers, but let's be honest, Celtic were poor last year, and Clement did have that really good run. I don't think Rangers are going to have a really good run this year. Yeah, but you get my point. Like, how can people be talking about league titles when they can't even beat they can't even beat Celtic anywhere close to beating them? Well, a certain guy with about sixty thousand subscribers predicted Rangers to win a league title, but then he came on today and he says that uh, he knew this was going to happen, and he knew Rangers aren't good enough. How how can you how can you believe that? But then pick them to win a league title. You can't even go a day with it mentioning that guy. Well, he pisses me off. He's a fucking loser and he's a fake. <laughs> what James Tavern? No, I see Jane Oval. <laughs> All right, there we go. Cleared up, <laughs> cleared up, guys. No, but you can't. I mean, he comes on in his match review saying, "Oh, I told you guys this was going to happen. We all knew it." He didn't tell us shit. You went for you went for score, score, draw, mate. And in, in your season predictions video, you predicted Rangers to win the league title. So either you're lying and you didn't see this coming, or you're lying in your predictions just to try and to appease to your your subs. There's there's only one. It's either one or the other. You're either 
you either believe Rangers are going to win and then you lie when they don't win to try and save face, to look more intelligent or whatnot, or you just lie at the beginning so that your fans, you know, cuddle around you and like, oh, we like you, CJ, because you predict Rangers wins. It's one or the other. He can tell us which one it is. No, but yeah, yeah. You, you, am, so, am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. Very valid points. But like, let's look back at the times when predictions were getting dished out, right? Pre-season had happened. Rangers had signed pretty much no one. To be fair, Celtic at the same time hadn't really done much business either. But, yo, is this season a month in pretty much not played out exactly like we all thought it would? See, Apart see, from it, take heart so it could kill you, right? See, no, banter aside. See at the top two, is it not played out exactly like the way we thought it would? Hi. Uh, no, it has. I, I put it 3 1. I, I gave Rangers the benefit of the doubt they might get a goal. I was wrong. Although I think McCausland probably should have scored. See, as soon as Hearts and Rangers drew, right, which by the way, before the game, it looked like a possibility anyway. Everyone was saying Rangers are probably going to be five points behind come this old farm game at once it ends. And they uh -huh. are. And they're out, they're out of the Champions League at the first time you're asking. And that's not a prediction. It was a spoiler, it turned out to be. But anyway, on to the Saturday action. We'll look at the league table in a minute. Crucial win. No, but like, see if, see if I turned around and said hearts are shite and that uh, we're just not good enough and and then I, I went, but we're going to finish third. That was, I'd be lying to myself. No, you would. Well, heart, can hearts finish third? I don't think so. Well, there you have it. Gap's too big. Gap is, no, it is. 11. So, so it's 11 points. Yo, that is a lot for a team like hearts to make up on a team like Aberdeen. No, it is. 11, 11 points is a lot. I mean, say what you want. 11, 11 points is a lot of points. I know why it's a lot of points because I just don't see it getting better anytime soon. That will get bigger. Yeah, the before. gap. I think the gap will grow before it gets close. You know, it well, closes, well, so. because I don't know who Aberdeen play next, but Hearts are away at Parkhead, and yeah. uh, so I mean that writes itself. Tell you what, Naismith, if he loses that game, maybe the Hearts board will leverage. Well, he beat them last season. Tell you what, though, be a great, be a great way to save his job. It would be. But no, no, do you not know how tragic it is though, right? I feel like last season, I, wa I mean, I watched a lot of Celtic games. It was like, oh yes, if they get beat, the title's on or Rangers are in pole position. I feel like if Celtic get beat against Hearts, it's like, it doesn't do anything. It, no, I mean, I, I mean, I just do not see how Rangers do anything. It's almost like, all right, Aberdeen will stay top then. I take that. Anyway, guys, Aberdeen won. Let's talk about this late winner, Kevin is, but I think he's going to be a good sign. And this is a good game though was televised on Premier Premier Sports. Um, we had offside goals, we had penalties being saved, uh, VAR getting involved, we had pretty much everything in this match. Then we get the late winner for the brand new signing, Kevin Nisbet. And what we got after, unfortunately, was pretty sad. It was a pitch invasion. Now, I've seen a few people defend this, saying that, hold on, it was a 98th minute winner to, to go top the league, of course. We're going to run onto the pitch, but look, I'll accept that if there's like five games to go. Also, I, I'm not, I'm it not, wasn't true top of the league because Celtic had a game in hand. I'm not accepting that after four games. No, yeah, I totally. Plus, agree. I'd accept that a bit more if it was maybe against Rangers or Celtic. Yeah, I'm um, not, not, not Ross County. It's a game Aberdeen should have had to say anyway. It was ten points. Fuck. There you go, ten points. Fuck, but good win nonetheless. Uh, two each year, Dundee St Mirren. You predicted two each. I did. I predicted 2-2 two -two and I got it right. What did I win? I win absolutely nothing. Unless somebody wants to leave a wee super chat as my, my prize. Other than that, I win hee-haw. He wins hee-haw. You predicted 1-1 one, one in this. I did. I predicted 1-1 one, one in this and I was very close to getting it. But uh, What did you make of the St. Johnson fans telling the Motherwell TV that they're going to shove the microphone up his arse? Because he celebrated the goal beside them in the commentary. Actually, I didn't see that. Didn't see that? No. Brilliant. Wasn't in my notes. Wasn't in your notes, well. What did you make of it? I thought it was brilliant. I've watched it, I've seen the clip. I played the game, as Mark Goldbridge would say. Anyway, it's time to play it's the... Footy Adventures, not at Celtic Park. Did they? Mm hmm Yeah. I don't know, he did his intro on top of the European Highlander. Do you think if Rangers had a one, and he was, like, filming in Celtic, he'd have got kicked out or something? Or? I don't know, man. Big F, like, but... I believe in footy adventures. Anyway, Celtic and Aberdeen sit on 12 points apiece. You know what, see footy adventures, he's another guy I don't like. Now, it might you don't just, like many people. It, it might just seem like I don't like all these guys with subs, but it's not true. Cause I, I, I said something positive about Ryan Woman 8. Oh, I can't remember what it was. But... And then he's like, oh, he went to Berlin. No, but you know what, I, I just don't believe for a second. Berlin. 
I just don't believe for a second that Footy Adventures, if he actually does like football and he's not just doing this to make money, if he actually genuinely likes football, then there's no way that he can't have an allegiance to one side. He he, he must have a favourable team. He might he, not have an allegiance, he right? Must, you know, he must, He man. clearly likes football. You don't do what he does We don't like football. When you're making money, I think you do, actually. Yeah, but he wasn't making money at the beginning, right? He's a lot of things, right? He might be a, a bit PC, he might be a bit, you know, vanilla. But I'm not going to question his devotion yeah, to Yeah, but game. you know what? He's not going to come out and say what team he actually supports because then it's going to be awkward to go to games potentially in the future. That, I, 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 but he's English, so he probably doesn't support any Scottish team. I believe. So why, say, is, why doesn't he go and follow English football? I, I believe people have said he supports Kelly Hawks. Why doesn't he go and follow English football then? Well, you know what? People are free to support who they want to support, but at the end of the day, is I don't think he supports anyone in Scotland, so the question is, why don't you do fuck? Ah, so why don't, why don't you... Why, I think he went to a Phil Wolves game and did a flog and it just didn't draw and he's not been back. That 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 just answers my question. Uh, that answers what that's all. It tells me what I need to know. That's the point I was trying to make. No, and but it's the same with like when he goes to Republic Ireland or Wales and Northern Irish games, man. It's the same shit. You know, he he he, he leeches off the the small fan bases because no one else does it. It's it's glory hunting without picking a team. Aye, but instead of like glory hunting by picking a successful team, he's picking a successful league. That's what it is. Is what it is. Anyway, right, league table, Celtic, Aberdeen, Dundee United, Rangers, so... Yeah, I mean, Rangers are closer, well, they're the same distance to 10th that they are first. Wah, wah, wah. Do you think every non-Old Firm fan has a preference? The between the top two? Aye. Absolutely. Fair enough. Well, the reality is, if you ask me who'd I prefer between any two teams in this league, I'd be able to tell you who. Hearts, Hibs. Hearts. Dundee, Dundee United. Dundee. Aberdeen, Celtic. Aberdeen. Fair enough. Sad as it is, like, I mean, if, if I could pay, like, 200 quid... For Aberdeen to win the league and I couldn't pick Air, Rangers, Air Kelly. Ah, like Kelly, I've no issues with Kelly. Fair enough. Chris Fair, sure, huh? Anyway, right, let's look at what you Sterling. Look. East Sterling. Go with Sterling. I don't really know what the point of East is in it. Like. Anyway, let's look at the, the fixtures then for when we come back. So this is where you'll pick up your points. You're not looking at the league table, no? Just looked at the league table. Did we? Oh, fuck. It must have been that bad. I was trying not to look. <laughs> <laughs> I purposely zoomed out so we could all fit in. Uh, well, I, 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 I know my team's so low down, I couldn't see them. Yeah. Um, but see, to me... Uh, no, so Aberdeen are yeah, that, 14 points clear. That, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like Aberdeen 14 points clear. Yep. I tell you what, you wouldn't you wouldn't feel confident the Rangers getting three points in that game. Same with Kelly. Mm-hmm. Tough games all around for the teams that are already struggling. And then I believe after that, Hearts take on St Mirren. Then I think it's uh, Aberdeen at Pataudry. I oh, know, it's Ross. It is St Mirren. Right, because the cup's on. So you, you'll have a game extra. You know, that October game, that's that's already quickly becoming an, a must-win for Hearts. Yeah, no. Uh, no, like that is, a, that's like a must-win for Hearts. No, it is. What about that? Saturday 19th of October. I tell you what. It's two days after your birthday. Well, no. Be nice to be present if Aberdeen won for you. Well, no, well, I'll tell you what. You say nice to be present if Aberdeen won for me. <laughs> Fucking Kelly could win anyway, if, though. If Kelly beat Rangers and Aberdeen beat Celtic, what will the gap be between the top two and Rangers? Pretty big. Someone said earlier, and I can't even remember what Fiddle live stream it was, they said, like, do you think Rangers will be 12 points behind Celtic by the new year? The new year's four months away. That, well, that, I mean, a five after four, so why not? Yeah, if you work out the averages, folks, I mean, that is what it is, right? It's 26th of October, Rangers, but look, look at Rangers' run, right? So at home to Hibs, home to St Mirren, away to Kelly, home to St Mirren. I think Mint St Johnson. Aye, right, did. Um, away to Aberdeen. So look, see that weekend we're on about there? We've got Rangers away to Kelly. After, Aberdeen are home in the new firm derby. And I tell you what, See these, this run of three games between Aberdeen Celtic, Aberdeen Dundee United and Aberdeen Rangers? That will tell me if this Aberdeen team is the unknown that we think they are. Yeah, I mean, if Aberdeen can get to that, those three games, right, and still have a really good record, then perform well in those three games, 
then that will... I'll make a bold prediction. I think Aberdeen will still be ahead of Rangers going into this game on the 30th of October. Will they be ahead of them coming out of it? Oh, well, put it this way. Say the gap's anything near five. Could you imagine the pressure on come on if they go eight points behind Aberdeen? I'll make a bold prediction. Hearts will be bottom six come Christmas. Fair enough. Or is that not, too, is that not bold? I don't think that's that bold, no. <laughs> Fair enough, okay. Anyway, till next time. Peace.